Thanks for joining us. I'm Brianna Pitts with the WBZ News Update. Teachers in Revere are demanding change after several recent brawls at the high school. At a meeting last night, the city council sent a motion to put metal detectors in schools to a subcommittee for review. They're also discussing starting unannounced police dog sweeps and outside intervention programs. These discussions ramped up after the teachers union says an administrator was hit in the face during a brawl between students. Well, a fourth case of Tripoli e has now been confirmed by the state. We are told a man in his 50s was exposed in Middlesex County. That's an area considered at high risk for the virus. Health officials are urging people to avoid going outside during peak mosquito times between dusk and dawn. And later tonight, mosquito spraying will take place in Peabody. Health officials say they are taking precautions after mosquitoes infected with Tripoli e were found in neighboring North Reading. The spraying will happen at public parks and athletic fields between 730 and midnight, but that could change based on the weather. Voters in New Hampshire are headed to the polls today for the state's primary, and one of the races they will be choosing candidates for is governor, since incumbent Republican Chris Sununu is not seeking another term. Six candidates are fighting for the Republican nomination, three for the Democratic nomination. And now let's get a check of our next weather forecast with meteorologist Jacob Wyckoff. And Jacob, how beautiful this week. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous. Temperatures getting back into the 60s as we start the day with nothing but sun shine in the forecast from start to finish back into the mid to upper 70s. Tomorrow we return into the upper 70s. Another beauty of a day remaining on the dry side of things and our only chance for rain really arrives as we head into Friday and even then it's just a slight chance for some showers. We are watching Tropical Storm Francine expected to become a Category 2 storm as it makes landfall near the Louisiana Gulf Coast. We'll be watching that time frame closely as you go into Wednesday night and into Thursday. Quick check of your seven day forecast shows temperatures returning into the mid 80s by Friday and then back into the low 80s into next week. Brianna. All right, Jacob, thank you. This has been a WBZ News update. Have a great day.